Welcome back to the Sunday Business Page. Robert Morris University has always prided itself on being big enough to matter, small enough to care. But there is certainly nothing small about RMU's brand new UPMC Event Center, which opened to the public this month. In addition to being an impressive venue for concerts and other major events, it's the home of Robert Morris University's longtime basketball team, the Colonials. What does the opening of this center mean to Robert Morris's students, faculty, alumni, and its athletic program? We're so pleased to welcome three guests to the Sunday Business Page. Jonathan Potts is Vice President of Public Relations and Marketing at Robert Morris. Matt Mellett is the University's Vice President of Development and Institutional Advancement. And of course, Andy Toole is Head Basketball Coach of Robert Morris's Colonials. Gentlemen, congratulations on this major addition to the university. It's tremendous. And uh, thank, I thank you, you for thank being you. here. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan, let me just start with you. Why is this such a big deal for Robert Morris? Well, several reasons. It's going to be transformative for our men's and women's basketball teams and our volleyball teams. It's going to be the competitive venue that they've earned because of their history of success. I mean, we have very storied programs in all our sports right. and uh, those three as well. Uh, it's going to be great for Moon Township in the airport corridor. It's an entertainment venue like no other there. Um, it also has a very nice conference space, the UPMC Health Plan Conference Center. So it's going to be a great venue for business meetings. Yeah. And of course, just you know, the concerts is going to be a great way to get people to campus and to really enjoy and discover Robert Morris. Well, let me turn to your colleague next to you. Matt, you were really responsible for helping raise all the money behind this. Uh, can you uh, tell us, first of all, what all this cost, where the money came from, and then describe the venue a little bit more? Yeah, so the project was a $50 million, uh, $50 million project. Uh, I think what's really special about this project, in particular at Robert Morris, was it was a Pittsburgh project in the fact that we took corporate partners in the area here uh, and generated all the revenue, so this was completely externally funded. The students uh, aren't paying for this. The students aren't paying for this, so it stays or off their the families. <laughs> the, it stays off the tuition dollars, uh, but it really was truly something that Pittsburgh corporations saw as something that was really needed in the western part of the city. And the venue itself, if I read some of the descriptions, how many people does it hold? And can you describe it a little bit? It can bit? seat up to 5,000 for a basketball game. A typical concert will have anywhere from like 3,700 to about 4,100 seats. And there's lots of, it's not just a basketball court. There's so much more there. No, it's a multi-purpose facility. Uh, we've hired uh, Oakview Group, which is programming the building, and we'll have conferences, as uh, John alluded to, at the UPMC Health Plan Conference Center. Uh, we'll also have concerts uh, that Live Nation and various promoters will put in the building. I'm going to come back to that in a second, but Coach, congratulations. This Thank has got to be great for you and your team. It really is. You know, Division One Athletics is, is uh, an arms race in some ways, and, and your facilities speak to the investment and the support that your university gives. And so it's great to work at a place and uh, have the leadership that was willing to kind of make this happen. And it's been a number of years in the making, but I know some of our players were in the facility last week for the first time. Yeah, what did their, they think? Their jaws dropped. You know, I think when they walked <laughs> around and saw their new locker room space, the practice facility that's connected, the weight room, the coaches' offices, and of course, you know, the main arena. You know, they couldn't wait to get a game going. They were asking if we could get some balls out and get some shots up immediately. <laughs> so uh, they're excited to be in there. And then obviously, we're, we're, are we off season? <laughs> we are. We are. They're just uh, we're finishing the semester. They just finished the semester, and uh, but they'll be back in the summer. And so once they come back in the beginning of June for summer school, we'll be working completely out of that facility and I think it'll really help their day-to-day -day, yeah. right. uh, ability to improve. Andy, does this help recruiting people to Robert Morris for basketball? Absolutely. You know, I, I think it's a, a great point of uh, a conversation starter. You know, when people know that uh, a new facility is on board, uh, for a number of years now we've shown animation to recruits and, and <laughs> promised them that this would eventually be here and now it's nice to have removed that from our, uh, <laughs> our PowerPoint presentation and we can actually show them the real thing. Right. And, you know, it's definitely something that, that attracts athletes and attracts families, not just athletes, but also students in general to well, a campus. Yeah, if I read correctly, you've got intramural basketball courts in addition to the, the regular collegiate? So, yeah, part of the building was, or part of the project was also our North Athletic Complex, which will be a student recreation center. And that was our temporary home while they were constructing the UPMC Event Center. And so that will now be an area where the students just will be able to have a better experience, intramurals, workout facilities, uh, exercise classrooms and all the things that you need to do when you're not in class. Yeah. And I think that every college and university is looking for 
ways to have their students spend positive time when they're not in class. Well, it's a huge enhancement to Robert Morris, but it also benefits the community. And I want you guys to talk a little bit about how can organizations, associations, companies take advantage of this space? Because it's not just for athletics, right? That's right. So as we mentioned, there's a conference space and it's being professionally managed like the rest of the building by Oakview Group. Um, and they'd be so happy. if somebody watching is interested right. in renting, yeah. they need to contact? It's an good arm, you know, edu or the UPMC uh, event center .com, um, and we'd be happy to take care of them. Um, you can always email me, pots okay. at rmu.edu. It's a bold <laughs> thing to give my email address. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really, there's no space like it. I mean, you know, uh, several boardrooms, a large uh, conference slash banquet room. Um, it's just a tremendous space. And then, you know, the, we have a, a removable court so that we can host concerts as well as big events. Um, so it's going to be a real asset for the community. Has, have you already booked this, uh, Matt? Yeah, so we've already announced our first six concerts uh, next Sunday. So a week from today is the first Live Nation concert in there, which is nice. uh, Evanescence. Uh, so we're excited about that. And then starting in late August and through the fall, we have everybody from the Doobie Brothers uh, to a boy band. Uh, why don't we? I mean, uh, exciting stuff coming to RMU. And, of course, again, for those in the community who might be looking for extra space to host something, you're not far from the airport, so it's a, it's a pretty convenient place. And I think that's what's the thing that's great about it is there's so much growth growing on in the airport. I mean, we have a great relationship with Christina Casadas at the Airport Authority, with Chris Heck at the Airport Chamber. Um, there's a lot of corporate growth. Um, this is going to really be a great draw, both for businesses as well as families. Right. People just wanted to have a nice night out. All right. We only have about 30 seconds, but I'm going to end with the coach because I want you to give me a prediction or two about next year basketball. Well, we're excited about our team next year. We returned four of our five starters, and we have some talented recruits that are coming in that we can't wait to get to work with this summer. We still have a few scholarships left to fill, but uh, November 12th will actually be our first game in the building, and nice. University of Pittsburgh is going to come and play us at the UP UPMC Event Center. So that will certainly be an event. Oh, wow. Wow. Here in Pittsburgh, uh, they were uh, kind enough to come and help us open that building. And RMU the, versus Pitt on November 12th. November 12th, and the atmosphere will be electric, so you might want to get tickets early. <laughs> Great. Hey, gentlemen, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. This thank is a wonderful much. addition, not just to Robert Morris, but to all of us here in Pittsburgh. Thank, thank you. you for sharing with us. We appreciate it. When the Sunday Business Page continues, why the U.S. Census needs your help and how it might also lead to a job. Stick with us.